Hey guys, Nika here from Back to My Roots, and I am coming on to show you how I water the garden. Okay, so watering the garden starts first in the garage. This is the closest um, source to electricity we have is in the garage because the garden is just north of that wall. This is north and it's right behind the wall. And right along this wall here are the barrels filled with water. So let's go around. So this goes around and takes us to the garden. And I leave the end right here above the gate because um, it's easy to do so. I don't want this to be on the ground and get wet. Okay, because the other important end uh, part or the other important piece to watering the garden is this here. So let me open the fence and show you. what we have. We have a sub pump. Something that you would put like in your basement to suction water out. We have a really cheap um, sub pump, okay? And so I think this cost us $16 and let me tell you, $16, 10 to 15 minute setup, probably because the hose is a, <laughs> is a headache. It's well worth it. Now the teeth here are plastic, so you would want to rinse this off before you attach it to the teeth of the sump pump because it is plastic and you don't want to wear it away or, or corrode it in any way. So definitely just take this, rinse it in the water, and then attach it to the sump pump. And then... <laughs> this up put down into the bottom of the barrel now the hose after a lot of dancing with it of course is in that particular uh, raised bed right now because the water is going to exit this before I get to it because I don't have my favorite nozzle now, you don't use this nozzle here. The reason why is the sub pump is, let me show you the suction grids of the sub pump. It has a really good suction grid. So good pieces come through this sub pump and it does go through your holes. And unfortunately, this, I don't know if you can see it, those tiny, tiny holes can easily get clogged up and as you can see I've clogged this up so this I don't know how I'm going to clean it out it needs to be cleaned out and used on the other hose back there oh and on that other hose um that's where the good nozzle is so let me go get it this nozzle right here is ideal if you take a look inside um, a lot more things are able to come through this orifice, okay? Um, the reason why I like using this is it gives me the power to, to stop the flow of water. Whereas if you don't have a nozzle on the end of the hose, you really are, I mean, other than squeezing the hose and creating a, a kink, that's the only way to stop the water. But I... I like it this way, especially with the two-year-old running around and I need to hurry up and stop the water flow to preserve the water from bed to bed. This is ideal. So what I'm going to do now is plug in, well, I'm going to stick this in my pocket because the hose is in the tall bed at the end here and show you the flow of water. So here we go. I'm gonna plug this in here. I don't know if you can see this. Ooh, that's close. Okay. 
keep it up and out of the way so it doesn't get wet for by any means means I'm not sure if you can hear this it's pumping the water through the hose this hose has a uh, hole in it and it's taped up so I keep it in a bucket here because I don't want to waste any water we're gonna take this to the far bed through the hose and that's the strength yeah and just water the plants and this is how I water this entire garden so it's basically about 15 minutes let's be honest 15 minutes set up and 16 dollars it's worth it it saved me so much time so much energy i i listen if you're having issues watering your garden this is the way to go so let's get that pepper plant it looks kind of sick there Let's go around. Let's get this marigold. See, oh my gosh, this marigold is so beautiful. Just gorgeous. Get this pepper plant. Get another marigold. Get another pepper plant. Now pretty soon this weekend, guys, I'm going to take you on the journey of Mr. Roots and I. And then you kink it. Here you go. You kink it and bring it over to the next bed. So little to no water waste. But uh, Mr. Roots and I are we're in desperate need to trellising this up somehow or staking these tomato plants. So we're going to be doing that this weekend. Hopefully I'll be able to film that for you guys. But until then, I want to... Oh, here, let me show you um how it is watering with the other nozzle so give me a second here okay so i kinked it i'm getting a nozzle out of my pocket and i'm screwing it on here to the end of the hose there you go And then I'm going to unkink it. Now I'm not wasting water. I just have to shoot and aim. So there's a lot of water coming out of here that you don't have to worry about a trickle of water with that small $16, uh, what do you call that? Sub pump. So watering your garden with the sub pump, guys, and a little bit of electricity, it's so well worth it. It's so well worth it. Um, saving yourself that time, that energy, that headache, and uh, getting in between the peppers there. I got the flow. Um, there's a little, I need to open it up to help the debris get through, but other than that, we're good. So there we are. Until we meet again, my friends, I want you to stay well in mind, body, and soul, and I hope you have an enjoyable weekend. Bye. <laughs>